In this class, we are going to learn how to embed VBCS web page in Fusion Cloud application with the help of page integration. In our previous class, we had seen how to build this web page wherein we had embedded Google Maps over here. Also, we had added image from Google Images and also we had a highlighted text for the Google Image and Google Maps. This is the live web page of application that is post staging and publishing of ABCS application. This is the live URL what I am showing it over here in the browser. Now we are going to make use of same live URL and we are going to embed this in a Fusion application with the help of page integration. Let me now switch over to the Fusion Cloud instance. I have logged into Fusion Cloud instance or the Oracle SaaS instance. First step in embedding VBCS web page in Fusion is we need to create a sandbox. In order to create a sandbox, we need to click on this navigator icon on the left top corner. Go to configurations and click on sandboxes. Now we need to create a sandbox over here. Click on sandbox. Provide the name I am giving here xx vbcs embed 01. We can select whether this sandbox needs to be published or not and the description. Now here we need to select the structure. Structure I am selecting because I will be moving the embedded web page from one category to another category within the fusion instance. I will show you how to do that. Scroll down we need to select page integration as we are going to embed vbcs page here and also the page composer we are going to change the size of the web page like the height and styling this also I will show you how to do that once done click on this create and enter into the sandbox now we are in the sandbox xx vbcs embed underscore 01 which we have created now click on the navigator button again scroll down go to configuration and select page integration once the page integration wizard opens up we need to click on this new page In the create page wizard, we need to provide the name. I am giving xxvbcs embed 01 and we need to select the icon as well from here. Click on this navigator menu icon. Here we need to select the icon appropriate for our web page. As this is a demo class, I am selecting one of the icons randomly. Let me select this one and click on OK. Done. Now in the application role, we need to select the application role which is available for your user. I mean for the user with which I have logged into the Fusion application. That is that particular role must be assigned to our user. That only we need to select else our web page won't be visible in Fusion even though if we complete or create the page for that. Now let me add application developer. I have already application developer role added to my user. So I am selecting this. Now in the web page, we have to provide the URL. This is the live URL, not the preview or the stage URL of the application. I am copying the live URL for this web page and pasting it over here. Once done, click on save and close. So we have successfully created a page with the help of page integration. As you can see the category it is showing as sales performance AUX. While creating a sandbox we had selected the structure. Now with the help of structure we will move our page from this category to some other category. Now in order to do that go to this navigator menu again. From here we need to select the structure under configurations. Scroll down and search for sales performance AUX 
or the category whatever is shown for your fusion instance under which you have created the web page again while creating a page in page integration if you want to change the category there only then that is also fine as i wanted to demonstrate structure as well in this class i am going for this approach there is this sales performance aux i am clicking on this expand there is this access vbcs embed 01 now i will try to move this to different category select this and from here we need to select on which we have to move i am selecting to me group click on me you can move it to appropriate category like the if you have created abcs application for procurement then you can move to procurement if it is for order management you can move it to order management and so and so forth now we have moved it to me category let me verify it's here so let us check what category of the group it, it is me okay fine let me go back to home Now let me select this me over here. If you see our web page is not visible over here. For this we need to log out and log in. I will log out and log in to this Fusion instance. I have logged in again to Fusion instance. Now let me go to me again. If you scroll down there is this VBCS web page and our web page name that is XX VBCS embed 01. This name we can change at the time of embedding this web page in page integration. I am clicking on this icon now. Also the icon is visible that is the aeroplane sign. Our web page is visible over here. If you scroll you can see exactly the same web page what we had designed. Now if you see the size of this window where it's showing it's too small. Now we can modify this. As we had seen at the time of creating the sandbox, we had selected the page composer. Now click on this icon over here on the right top corner and select edit pages. Go to structure. Now we have to appropriately select the section where our web page is added. Now click on this edit. Just scroll down. There is this icon to configure. Click on this configure icon. Go to content style. From here height we have to change the height. Let me give as 700 px. Also it supports px, em etc. Click on ok. As you can see, we are having a bigger window this time. This all goes by the look and feel of the page, how you want to design for your customer. Once done, click on this close button on the right top corner. This will close the composer. Now you can see the web page at displayed. If you have created an interactive UI with the help of VBCS and you want to embed it to, to Fusion with the help of page integration, you can do this. So that the user can directly go to navigator or from the home screen and based on the category where you have added the application it will be visible over here. Like in our case we have added this VBCS app in me group so it is visible over here. So if you have created any web page for procurement or product management or product ordering then you can add it to their appropriate category so that it can show under that respective menu. So like this we can embed a VBCS application or a web page in Fusion Cloud. One more thing if you face any issues while embedding the web page you have to make sure in the VBCS application in the settings you have enabled and allow anonymous access otherwise if you don't allow this access you have to configure the credentials. Please let us know if you want us to cover this in a different class on how to handle the secured web pages. So I have enabled this allow anonymous access so that any user who is having the URL can view the web page. Also in the embedding I have selected allow embedding in any application domain so that only it, it is able to embed it over here. If it is selected to deny embedding then you won't be able to see the web page over here. You will find a, some error message over here at the time of embedding. Also if you want to specify a specified domain then you can select this and you can provide the fusions domain over here. 
that also you can do i have selected allow embedding in any application domain so under security those are the things you have to make sure under access and embedding and one more thing is we cannot embed any preview or staged application always we have to make sure we are having a live url which is visible over here if you click on the live you will get a live url over here this only we have to use to embed if you are having any development application first you need to stage the application once it is staged you need to publish the application once it is published you will get the live url so this is the url which you need to provide for embedding into fusion app instance with the help of page integration